Hey guys, welcome back to Maximize Your Monday. I apologize for that broadcast interruption, but I am so excited to be before you on this wonderful, wonderful Monday. So I want to give it some time for some of our amazing followers to chime in. Hey guys, hey guys, it's been a while. I have not done a Maximize Your Monday in a very long time, so I want to go ahead and jump in um, before about my time runs out, right? So thank you so much for joining me for today's segment of Maximize Maximize your Monday. I have missed you guys. You guys know that my favorite day of the week is Mondays. Why? Because it gives you an opportunity to, to it gives you an opportunity to start over and to chase great. So listen, hey Sean, thank you, girl. Listen, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you guys to share this broadcast. I want you guys to add people to the broadcast, share this broadcast, because I'm going to share with you five reasons why without strategy you will struggle. <laughs> Excuse me. Without strategy, you will struggle. So listen, I want you guys to invite your followers, um, share this broadcast on your timeline because we're going to share a few tips today about business development. You guys know I am a huge advocate of helping business owners really define the why be behind their brand. So for those who are new to Maximize Your Monday, my name is Vision Coach Latoya Early, and I am an empowerment speaker, and I'm a vision coach. It is my assignment to help you see things and opportunities in your business that you are unable to see. So I want you guys to tune in, get you a pen and some paper out, because I am going to share with you five reasons, five reasons why without strategy, you will struggle. Listen, take it from someone who's been in the entrepreneur industry for over 10 years. I have. I started my first business when I was 19 years old and I didn't have a strategy. I didn't have vision. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know my why and I was failing nonstop. I was failing. So I want to share with you five reasons why you have to strategize for success. I thank you guys so, so, so much for chiming in and sharing the broadcast. Thank you, girl. Um, my new cut, guys, for those who are used to watching me on Maximize Your Monday, you know that I, I was plain Jane with my brown longer hair, um, and I've decided to make a change, not just to my personal life, but to my business as well. So a lot of things has changed over the past couple weeks with Chase Great Enterprises, and I'm just so excited. Hey, Tish. Hey, 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 hey. So listen, I want you guys to share Share this broadcast because I'm going to share with you some tips and I am excited about it because I have not been able to share with you in a while. But if you are a part of our uh, Chase Great coaching community on Facebook, I highly suggest that you head over invite or ask to join so that you can be a part of the community because I'm always in there sharing tips, going live, making sure that our entrepreneurs, our business owners are getting what they need so that they can be great in business. Listen, understand that as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, it is more to building a business than exchanging service for profit. It's so much more than that. And if you don't really identify or define what your call is in entrepreneurship, you will struggle. That's one. That's a bonus because that's not even a part of my five reasons. You have to identify. Listen, entrepreneurship is a calling. You have to know. You have to recognize if you've been called to it. Because if you begin to uh, move in an area that you have not been called to, you will find yourself struggling a lot worse than what it could have been if you had have just activated yourself in the uh, lane that you were called to be in. So make sure as a business owner and as an entrepreneur that you've been called to that space. Don't just jump on an entrepreneurship because it's a trend, because it sounds good, because it seems like it's something fun to do. Because let me tell you, true business building is not for the faint at heart. So I want you to make sure that if you're an entrepreneur, if you are building your business, that you've been called to that place of um, business ownership, that you've been called to that place of entrepreneurship, because it is not for the faint at heart. And if you operate in a place that you are not anointed to carry, you will struggle. So let me jump into these five reasons why you will struggle without strategy. Number one, vision. It is so important to sit down and write the vision and make it plain. 
Okay, when you're giving vision, the Bible says that any man without vision, well, people perish without vision for the lack of vision, right? So understand that in vision, there's life. Understand that vision indicates life. And you guys know I always have my notes, so I'm always jotting, looking down, making sure I'm covering my notes. But know that vision indicates life. Know that in order for you to uh, live and to live life more abundantly, you have to have vision. You have to know where you're going. You have to know what you're aiming for. Listen, when you woke up this morning, what was the why behind you waking up? Do you think it was just because God didn't have anything else to do? There are so many people who didn't make it to today. Why did you make it? What is the vision? What is the vision over your life? When you close your eyes and you envision your next five years, what do you see? When you envision your next five days, what do you see? Vision indicates life. So well, again, remember, we're talking about five reasons uh, without strategy, you struggle. Well, if you don't have a vision, you're going to struggle throughout life. Life is going to seem like it's always um, passing you by. You're going to always feel like you can never get ahead. You're going to always feel like things are constantly knocking you off because you don't have any vision. So I need you to sit down and really identify what is the vision, what is the why for my life. Number two, direction. Remember, we're talking about five reasons without strategy you struggle. Well, if you don't have direction, direction indicates that there's a destination. Well, if you're just living life aimlessly, my favorite that I always use, most women say that, you know, my purpose or I'm here to be a mom, to my purpose are my children. Baby girl, while your children are amazing, your children will soon grow up. So you're telling me that once they become an adult, then your purpose ends? It has to be more to your life than that. So I need you to identify direction. Direction indicates destination. If you are aiming, think about it. How many times have you gotten a car saying, hmm, I'm just going to get in a car and burn gas? Never. Who just gets in a car to drive aimless? I mean, some people do to try to clear their mind. But for the sake of argument, nine times out of ten, people don't get in a car to go nowhere. So stop living life going nowhere. Figure out your vision. Figure out your direction because direction indicates destination. And if you don't know where you're going in life, you will struggle. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Number three, hope. Strategy indicates hope. Listen, when you have vision, when you have direction, there's a sense of hope that you have that, that just, um, it just illuminates your world. It just, it just gives you so much life and so much happiness without hope. There's no expectation. So there are some people who only expect to go to work, go to their nine to five, go home and do nothing. Now, this is no shot towards those who work a nine to five, because listen, we need those who work a nine to five. But even going to your nine to five, you need to go with some sort of expectation. What are you expecting out of your position? What are you expecting? What are you looking to apply or to gain from this position? With living the in the world that we live in now, you have to make every day count. Every moment counts. And if you are living outside of expectation, if you are living outside of vision, if you are living outside of direction, I can guarantee you I can count multiple areas in your life where you are struggling. I can. So listen, I need you guys to do me a favor. If I'm talking good, give me some hearts. If I'm talking good, let's drop some comments down below. I want you guys to share this broadcast because here's what's happening. This is what I'm noticing. And I've been, again, I shared with you before, I've been in the entrepreneur industry for over 10 years. Listen, I've only been chasing purpose for five. So five of those years I was chasing profit and I was like a dog chasing my tail, running in circles, trying to figure out how to gain wealth, right? Not knowing that the, the um, attaining wealth has nothing to do with my bank account. It has every t everything to do with my mental capacity to change the way I view money, to change the way that I view the world so that I can in return uh, gain the, the right fundamentals it takes 
for me to gain wealth. Wealth has nothing to do with exchanging profit for a service. Wealth has everything to do with knowing how to be a steward, a good steward over your money. Something that I've learned many, many, many years ago, God gave us dominion over our time and over our money. And somewhere down the line, we've lost dominion and now time and money has dominion over us. So now we need to learn how do I gain back my ownership because you were created with the power to gain wealth. The problem is, is that over time, over the years, over our culture and our community, we've lost the ability to use the power. So now we got to gain it back. But without vision, without direction, without hope, unfortunately, you'll never get to that place of wealth that you desire. There's two different ways of living. No, I'll say three. There's poverty, there's rich, and there's wealth. Now, poverty is, is pretty... Um, is pretty popular in our culture, in our community, especially in the in the Detroit East Side, West Side community and culture. We're we're taught to spend as soon as we get. And then if we do save, we have this poverty mindset that I can't spend it because I don't know where my next is going to come from. Not knowing that you have been conditioned to stay in poverty. Then we have the rich. We have those who can gain money very well, but they spend all of their money on material things. Things that don't even matter. Things that are not going to help them be great, right? Then we have the wealthy. Then we have those who understand money. Then we have those who know how to use their power to gain wealth and to create wealth for their next four generations. Listen, it's up to you to change the trajectory of your children. You're saying that, hey, it's my purpose to be a great mother or my purpose is to be a great father. Well, you can't be great if when you die, they're still broke. You weren't great. Sorry, you weren't. If you die today and your children cannot survive and you're doing GoFundMe accounts and they have people have to do GoFundMe accounts and have to figure out how to bury you or they can't pay their bills or they can't live off of your legacy, you didn't make the level of greatness. See, we were born to be great, but everybody doesn't make it there, right? Everybody doesn't make it there. So again, we're talking about five reasons Without strategy, you will struggle. Number one is being without vision. Number two is being without direction. Number three is being without hope. Number four is not being consistent. Let me tell you, this is like one of my biggest pet peeves. You jump out here, you got this idea, you throw it out there, and then you're not consistent, but you're upset because you're not gaining clients. Listen, consist consistency is what draws clients consistency is what draws clients consistency indicates clarity and clarity is what draws clients okay when you're consistent when you're consistently doing something when when I wake up I see that you're consistently channeling yourself in this particular area that's what's going to compel me to come towards you why because I can tell that you're taking your gifts your vision your direction seriously so now I am um, I'm looking at you like an expert. So now I'm okay with exchanging a thousand dollars with you for your service because I can see the consistency and then I can see the manifestation of your consistency. So these are the things that causes us to struggle. When you're inconsistent in your brand and in your business and in your life period, you're wondering why you're struggling. It's because first of all, you haven't created a standard. This is my biggest thing. Oh, I'm grown. I can do whatever I wanted to. Adults have to be disciplined. There are rules for adulting, right? And if you are not living according to a standard, then there's nothing for you to be consistent in. Does this make sense? If you say that you are, there are no standards, you have no rules, then you're being inconsistent. You're being consistently inconsistent. Make sense? So how can you draw? How can you build? How can you gain wealth? How can you build business? How can you help change lives if you're not consistent in creating a standard in your life? Inconsistency creates a consistency in being inconsistent. I need you to make a decision, right? So remember, we're talking about five reasons without strategy, you struggle. You struggle because you're inconsistent. A, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, right? 
So we talked about vision. We talked about direction. We've talked about hope. We've talked about consistency. And lastly, strategy indicates success. Listen, you don't just wake up and fall into success. I know that you see a lot of people who kind of pop up from nowhere and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so successful and I want to do what they do and I want to, and that's all fine and dandy. But just because you see their, their glory, you first have to learn their story. Because while you can see the success, you don't know what it took for them to gain the success. And without strategy, there is no success. Period. Success is not inherited. Success is not something that you just roll into. Success indicates intentional planning. Well, in order for you to be intentional, you have to plan for it. Success does not, come, does not happen out of randomness. While so many of you are saying, oh my gosh, I want to be successful in this and I want my business and my business is going to do this, but you're not putting in the proper channels in order for your, your business to be successful. Come on guys, let's, let's open our eyes. We're not just, I'm not just trying to help you be social media famous. I don't want you to just be social media, social media, social media successful. I want you to be successful in real life. I want you to be successful in your mental. I want you to be successful in your action, but without you applying the proper application, inspiration plus application equals manifestation. Just because you are inspired, you have to learn how to take that inspiration and apply it. So remember, we're talking about five reasons without strategy, you struggle. Number one, vision. Number two, direction. Number three, hope. Number four, consistency. And number five, success. If you are looking to gain the success that you have always desired, it is going to take an intentional strategy. Stop trying to fall into success. There, listen, no one, no one reaches success by being lazy. And no one reaches success by trying to be something that they're not. Stop striving for other people's success and learn how to create your own success. You may not be anointed to go through the process that that person had to go through to get to their success. You need to learn how to define your own level of success. Again, we're talking about five reasons without strategy you struggle. So listen, I'm done. I'm done maximize your Monday. You guys know that I'm all about putting in the proper channel so that you can be great in your life. And what I've learned as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, is that success is not just about the external. It's not just about the surface. Your business, your vision, your dreams is not just about the external. If you don't learn how to, to dig deep within you so that you can in return create the business that is supposed to change lives, you will forever feel like you are struggling. You're going to forever feel stuck and stagnant. Been there, done that, ain't going back. You feel me? Okay, cool. I am all set. I thank you guys so much for joining me on today. I hope to see you guys at our up and coming event for all dreamers, for our emerging and established entrepreneurs. Listen, I need you in the building on December 9th. We are doing a brunch. It is going to be amazing. This brunch is to celebrate all of my dreamers. I have so many dreamers that are on here. Tish, Lady T. Ray, Sean, Diaz, uh, Mother Broughton, uh, Kevin, Virginia, I uh, said Tish, Norm, Sean, Danielle, Kristen, uh, uh, Pastor Hayes. Listen, talk to, to Shauna, I need you guys to do me a favor and I need you guys to join me December 9th for this Dreamers Brunch. It's for established and um, emerging entrepreneurs. It is a time for you to celebrate the dream. This isn't just something to do because it's trending. This is real life. Remember, I believe that business building and entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. Why? Because this is not something that I can turn off. Who I am right now at this very moment is who I am behind the camera. It's who I am in my office. It's who I am with my clients. Listen, this is who I am across the board. Why? Because purpose, because my business, because who I am is not just between nine and five. It's actually a lifestyle. So listen, I am all done, guys. I love you guys so much. I just don't know if you know how much I appreciate you. Ashley, please visit www.shopchasegreat.com, shop, 
chasegreat.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see the Dreamers Brunch, and you can register there. We do still have um, spots available for sponsorships. We have so many sponsors who've already partnered with us, and I'm just so excited. This has been a long, real quick, this has been a long time coming, guys. I have been wanting to do a Dreamers Brunch forever, and I allow procrastination and fear to stop me so long. But this year, I've decided to no longer allow fear to stop me and to jump out there and be and give it all that I've got. So listen, I love you guys. Have an amazing, an amazing, and a phenomenal Monday. Maximize your Monday. If you guys need any, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to jot them down. I love her. Enjoy her message. That's how life is. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. I hope you guys shared the broadcast. Oh, you'll be in Dallas, Tish. Gosh, you always go somewhere. I love you guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, ideas, feedback? We good? We good? We good? All right. I love you guys. Have an amazing, an amazing Monday. And hopefully I'll be back my next Monday. I'll be busy, y'all. This is just, I'll be having a whole bunch to do. But I need to make sure I get back to my Maximize Your Monday. So, you guys can always uh, contact me at the office really quickly. For those who are interested, know that we do have um, co-working space available. Um, we have a training space, a training room for uh, service-based entrepreneurs where if you need somewhere to come in and work, um, work during the week, um, if you need to have an event, a training, a seminar, anything that you need to do uh, business-wise, contact us. We are um, a resource for dreamers, and we want to make sure that we help you in any way that we can. Um, we love you guys, and be blessed.